Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. Let's talk about the movement, how you move your electrode while you are welding. All right, so when we move, when we weld, we are actually moving a little bit. When I first started, I didn't know about this, so I just kind of drug it really, really slow. Didn't produce that great of a weld, but when I learned it, it really made a lot more sense. So when you first start welding, we want to go in circles. So if this is my metal here, and I have my work angle, 90 degrees, my travel angle, 10 degrees. I strike that arc, I'm gonna move in a circle. Now I'm gonna exaggerate this so you can see it, but I'm going to move in a circle, okay? My circle should be twice the thickness of an electrode. So if I have an eighth inch electrode, my circle should be about a quarter inch wide. Okay, I'm moving in a circle. I'm not moving in a pattern to where my circles never touch. I'm moving in a circle where I'm going ahead, but then I'm coming back to the front side of that last circle. Moving ahead, coming back to the front side of that last circle. Moving ahead, coming back to the front side of that last circle. That is called your circular pattern. Now there's another pattern called the whip and pause. The whip and pause is you can make a little circle and then whip ahead, but then come back to the front edge of that puddle. Whip ahead, come back to the front edge. Whip ahead, come back to the front edge of that puddle. But you have to pause. It's not a zigzag. It's not forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. It's not that. It's whip, come back, pause. Whip, come back, pause. You can physically say pause if you need to. When I was first learning, I did. I said, whip, pause, 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 okay? That gives you your timing so your electrode can dig that channel out with its arc, with that electricity, and then the filler metal can burn and fill that channel back in, creating that strong bond. So we have circles and we have whip and pause. Always remember, to keep your angle. Work angle 90 degrees, travel angle 10 degrees. Now here's where it gets a little bit more complicated. A welder, someone who does welding for a living, can do many things at one time. They not only have to keep that angle, their good angle, work angle, travel angle, they're not only making their circles, they're also moving along, and they're feeding the rod down into the metal. So if I was going along here, I'll say I'm going along the edge of this, uh, the edge of the camera here. So if I'm doing my circles, I'm also feeding that electrode into the metal, creating the perfect arc length. How much do you need to feed it in the metal? Well, you need to keep about an eighth gap between your base metal and your electrode, you gotta keep that gap. So if it's burning up and you're having a longer arc length, it's more like throwing rocks compared to shooting an arrow. An arrow is very much more precise than just throwing some rocks. When you get too high of an arc length, it's almost like it's just throwing things everywhere, okay? We want to go in one specific spot where we are circling or where we are whipping and pausing. So you got to keep that arc length really nice and close. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you in the next one.